And my lips are looking extra juicy. Why can't I speak properly? Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be testing out a really interesting lip product that I stumbled upon at Sally Beauty. It is the Ardell No Slip Liquid Lip Liner. So Ardell is mostly known for their false eyelashes. I know them mostly for their false eyelashes. So when I saw this like pen shaped thingy from them, I was like, what is that? And then I realized it was a liquid lip liner. I was like, I just have to try that because that's interesting. I haven't really seen anything else like that. So I'm really curious to see how it applies and how it compares to a regular lip liner. My eyes really itchy. Hold please. Also, you may or may not notice that my lips are looking extra juicy, super big right now. That's because I got them refilled yesterday. So I still have a little bit of bruising. They're definitely a lot bigger than they're going to be in about a week, but we got to continue on and film this video for you guys. Honestly, what better time though to film a lip product testing video than when my lips are extra big and juicy and beautiful. So we'll just get right into it. I just had to tell you guys that's why they're bigger than normal and why I have some bruising. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into looking at the product. So there's 12 shades total. They retail for $9.99 each, which is not bad. Ardell is pretty affordable. Even their lashes are really, really affordable and super good quality. But right off the bat, you can see that they came out with a lot of bright colors. There's only one like super, super nude shade and one really deep berry color. So there definitely could be a wider variety of shades just right off the bat. So these are all of the shades swatched. We have On Peak, Longest Kiss, Amped, not an invitation, erotic point, serious risk, sweet hunger, illicit phone call, a fire, sultry red, blindfold, and no privacy please. So swatching them, there was kind of a difference between the different shades and the formula. I noticed the lighter colors, I needed to layer them a little bit more to get them to show their true color and get them more opaque and pigmented. But with the darker colors, the color showed up really easily with just one layer. They were very, very smooth. They just glided on. I'm interested to see how it applies on the lips. So I zoomed you guys in real close so we can do the actual application now. Let's try their darkest shade first. This is Blindfold. So it's this really deep kind of wine shade shade and we got the felt tip right there. I got a new lens. So you guys are really up and close and personal right now. You can see absolutely everything, but I hope it'll be better for you guys. You can actually see what I'm doing now. So I'll just line like normal. I'm kind of freaked out to make a mistake because they say this is supposed to be super long wearing, transfer proof, won't move or fade. Oh, whoa. That's really precise. So I've done one outline all over my lips. It's a very, very thin application because it has such a fine tip. You can't really get a super thick application on the first go. But I think if I apply with the side of the brush, it'll give me a thicker application. Oh yeah. Now I'm just gonna kind of feather it in. So then when I go in with the lipstick, it'll be more flawless, seamless transition between the liner and the lipstick. So now it's like coloring in the lines, you know? This is like learning how to color all over again. Staying in the lines. I feel like if you make a mistake with this, you're just effed because it is so long wearing. Like I was trying to wipe off the swatches on my hand and they're still there. It kind of has like a lip stain type of thing going on because definitely the product gets left over even after you try and wipe it off. So the liner is fully applied and you can see it gave me a very, very, very sharp, clean application. It took a little bit longer than it would with a regular lip liner just because the fine tip was just so, so, so small and fine, obviously. So I had to do a, quite a few layers and really build it to get it this thick and feather it in like this. Whereas with the regular lip pencil, it's a little bit thicker. You can get this a lot faster, but you're probably not gonna get as sharp of an application. even. Even with lip liners, sometimes I still have to go with foundation on a brush and just clean it up a bit to really make sure that there's no feathering and make sure that it's like a super sharp line. But I'm very, very happy with this. Like you can see how sharp it really looks. I wouldn't even have to go in with any concealer or foundation to clean it up. So now I'm gonna apply some lipstick. This is the Anastasia palette. So I'm gonna mix these two shades together. Let's apply. So definitely the lipstick is kind of covering it and they're not blending together. Usually with a regular lip liner, the two forms formulas and the colors will blend together and it'll make it really easy to kind of create this ombre lip. But because the liquid just dries and then it kind of stains your lips, there's no really wiggle room or playing around with it and mixing it with the lipstick. So I'm having to work with my brush to kind of blend seamlessly between the lipstick and the lip liner. But that's just because it's not an exact match to the lipstick because I'm trying to do like an ombre type of lip here. So the lipstick and lip liner are completely applied. You can see it gave me such a clean, sharp, 
sharp application. Definitely won't have to go in with foundation or concealer to clean it up because it looks so sharp already. Like I could take one of those super, super close up Instagram pictures of my lips right now and be totally comfortable without like Photoshopping or like cleaning it up with foundation at all. And that is saying something because you definitely can't get that or it's very difficult to get that with a regular creamy lip pencil. So, so far I'm really, really liking a felt tip liquid lip pencil. I wouldn't think that I would. And I think that this is really user friendly if you're the type that really has a hard time with applying lip liner just because a regular lip liner is a lot more creamy, a lot more slippery, and it's very, very thick. So sometimes it's hard to get that straight edge. And with something like this, it lets you go really, really slowly and work bit by bit to get that sharp, clean border around your lips. So I think it is worth trying if you do have a hard time with regular lip pencils. Here's a clip of me trying to remove the swatches from my arm and it was actually getting rid of my self tanner more than it was getting rid of the lip pencil. I feel like I'm going to be stuck with these swatches on my arm for quite a while because they do have that like staining power. They're transfer proof, long wearing, and just really don't seem to budge even the swatches. So I did want to do like a full on lip swatch type of video where I showed you guys every single color on my lips, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because I started with the darkest shade and it's just not going to come off my lips and it's going to change the way the other colors look on top of like this deep red since it'll stain my lips. And so I don't think I can show you the other colors on my lips, but here's a clip of all the swatches together again. And from the application that I just did, you can really see that they do give you a super sharp liner application and it looks bomb. So I'm really, really loving this product. And I think it's really cool that Ardell came out with something so unique like this. I've heard of felt tip brow pens, felt tip eyeliners, but definitely never heard of a felt tip liquid lip pencil. And I was really skeptical. I probably wouldn't have tried it if I didn't want to review it for you guys. And that's a shame because it really is super cool. And I'll definitely be using these in the future. I just really think that there's only a few of the shades that I could see myself really using just because most of them are really, really bright. And I don't normally wear really bright lip colors. I usually go for really, really dark or super neutral. And they only have like two shades in the neutral realm here. But I can kind of see why they did come out with really bold colors. And it's probably because you get that super sharp, clean, application and that's what you mostly want with bold lipsticks because with, with a neutral lipstick you can kind of get away with not having a super sharp lip liner application you know but with bold colors you really want it to be clean and these will definitely help you out with that so now I'm gonna try and remove it from my lips to really see how stained it got my lips and if I'm gonna be able to try and apply some of the other shades for you guys or if it's not gonna work out and just from taking these off I don't think it will work out I also don't don't want to disturb my lip filler too much just because I got them done literally yesterday and they're still really sore so I don't know that I want to swatch every single shade on my lips oh yeah that's really stained so it definitely did stain my lips which normally I wouldn't like but I think for a lip liner that's actually a really good thing because if it starts to fade or anything like that you're gonna still have enough color there that it'll just stay on kind of naturally no matter what you do so I don't mind the fact that it stains but for this purpose of me wanting to try on the different shades one after the other like it's not gonna happen right now because it's hurting to take it off i'm not gonna keep scrubbing like that's what the makeup remover and is not coming off i'm gonna have this on for days now okay so that is the full application and a little review on the no slip liquid lip pencil from ardell i think it looks amazing and it gave me really really pretty kind of vampire ombre lip so my final thoughts a quick review is i think it gives you a really amazing super precise sharp application and it kind of stays stains your lips to no transferring, no smudge, not gonna budge type of formula, which is awesome for long wearing, but that's also gonna make it harder if you make a mistake when you're applying it, so you have to be a little bit more careful. But I know that I definitely will continue to use these, and I hope that they'll come out with even more shades, just so then I can use them with literally like every lipstick that I could want to wear, and I am really impressed. For an affordable price, these are really cool. But another thing to keep in mind, if you really want to make sure you're getting a bang for your buck from buying something like this versus a regular lip pencil would be to know how long it lasts without drying out because obviously with the nature of these type of products is they do dry out you have to store them a certain way I believe it's just like laying down like this because if you store them upside down it's gonna dry out things like that so you have to keep those things in mind too if you're comparing to why would you buy something like this versus a regular lip pencil because those don't last forever either you got to sharpen them they get really tiny and then you can't use them really anymore so those are some things to consider but overall I think this product is a hit. I'm really loving it and I'll probably wear it tonight when I go out. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out these videos
videos of mine if you haven't seen them yet. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed to join my S Club. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye.